Hello! And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Sometimes you will be determining a story together, sometimes separately. What one does may not make complete sense to the other because we all have different perspectives. But as in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect each other. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made. We got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Dude, of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. No special treatment. You gotta do exactly what I say. Cool. Well, cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. You're my bro. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. We're just out here to fucking hang, 
cool out and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Ah, uh, TBH, I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad, Bradley, Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Nah, man, you, you really, really don't want to see me, you know, blowing chunks? <laughs> Suit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Those hot picks. What about over here? It's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. It's different. I'm just saying. Well, hot diggity dong. Look at this. You can just take, you know, a nice dive. Alex! Come here! I think we got something. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. 
Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so? So, the B-29 is a super fortress. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and... were just like, so dope. Ah, oh, so dope. Oh my God. Uh, sorry, yeah, um, nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please, keep going. Uh... Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck? Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? Wait, Alex, I thought we were gonna... <sighs> okay, look, Brad, the wreck's not going anywhere. Whatever, man, predictable. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Alex, do you really want this thing with Brad hanging over your head? Talk to him. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Oh, Captain, my Captain. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Hey, I like it when you're strict. And sometimes I just wanna be kept in line, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind a little submission now and then. Is there no way for you to turn that off? Turn what off? That thing where you have to hit on me like every two seconds. So, is it working? Do you have brain damage? Am I upstairs brain or am I downstairs brain? Ugh. If she tries to keep me from These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Oh, I got experience. In all the right places, if you catch me. Yeah, I caught it. And I tossed it back. And where might that experience lie? <laughs> Would you like to know? Huh? For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Why am I even talking to you about this dive? Clearly, you have other things on your mind. Oh, then I guess you want to discuss what I've got on my mind. Slow down, cowboy. Pour some water on it. Well, I'm always happy to get things a little wet. Jesus, you're thick. Well, that's what the ladies say. Oh, my God. There's no off switch. Hey. Hi. Hello, locker. What you got inside of you? Interesting. What's this now? Fancy. Get on you, Alex.
might want to just let it do its thing. Hey, Brad, how's it going? Hey, Brad Pack. Brad Boys 2. Brad'll be the sniveler. The fuck up. It's a bro's job to be a piece of shit. I should know. I got the same job. Nice try, man. I mean, so what's your MO? How do you guys get through family spats? Because Sis and I just kind of yell at each other until we run out of insults, and then I get the silent treatment until I can come up with the zinger, and then she's all smiles and she's all forgiving and cute again. That's our routine. What about you guys? We avoid confrontation and pout, and we basically all have ulcers. Sure. See ya. Thanks for checking in. Well, hello. What's this? I think this might be bogus. Dudes, tanks are ready when you are. So, this is the rebreather, way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Oh, hey, guys. What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail, kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. How's it going? Howdy. I just never knew that it was possible to feel such a deep connection with someone. Like right off the bat. Synergy. You know? What is it with those guys? They've got a whole ocean waiting for them and they're still on deck. I'll shoot them overboard. Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. 
Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That sheep. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. dangerous uh ladies first <laughs> can i just take a second to say holy shit alex we did it <laughs> i mean can you believe it hmm. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Bullet holes, all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Ugh. 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 He's holding something. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. When life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch 
touch anything else, please. Sharp, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, okay. I, uh, what are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's, it's not the best time. What's on your brain, buddy? Nothing. Nothing. Just kind of shaken up by a little brush with a gruesome and meaningless death. It doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Hey, seriously, what's going on? Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just forget it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on. We've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where's that other boat come from? Julia, we got to decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now, go, go! What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? So why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, 
you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. 